Xbox and Apple Pie for us to enjoy this Sunday afternoon with a cup of coffee. Oh, Marek, <laughs> merci. Uh, I, I love uh, uh, apple pie. Yeah, um, are, are we celebrating anything? We are three months together. Uh, my family uh, is now uh, asking when I am going to meet your mother. Hmm? Uh, I have to tell you something about my mother. Um, she is. She doesn't like to see other people. So, I would suggest we wait for that. I don't want that we will meet our mother yet. My, my mom and my dad would like to know that uh, you, you are serious and that you are going to introduce me to your family and, uh, you know... Um... No, 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 let me tell you something. Yeah, it's too early, Sylvie. I'm very serious, but it's too early to meet my mom. Okay, Mike, I have an idea. Take a picture of me and show it to your mom, okay? Just take a picture of me. Good. <laughs> <Be> nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Just show it to her and see what happens, okay? Hi, Mom. Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, I got a headache. Ugh. Did you bring? Did you bring some money, my son? Um, you, you know, I, I don't earn a lot of money in the amusement park. One day, I will have a job of my life and I will earn a lot of money and I can bring you some money, yeah? Because I can live here for free, yeah, I know. But, no, Mike, Mike. I haven't. Mike, you know since your father left and uh, I, I have these headaches, I can't work. You are my only hope. We need to pay the rent, we need to pay all the, the bills. You know, you are my only son and I, I, you know how much I need you. Hmm? Mother, mother, you still have lots of money on your bank account, yeah? Just spend a little bit, give yourself a little bit of comfort and me too in the process. You are able to do that. Don't count on me. I want to enjoy life. I'm young. You want to enjoy life. How do you want to enjoy life? Hmm? Tell me. Going out? Meeting people? Huh? Meeting people. Ah. Okay. Have you... Have you met any girls? Hmm? Yeah. You have? I have, I have met girls. Mm hmm? Yeah. But I know you never approve when I bring someone home. Mm -hmm. Never do. It's right. always something. Um, um, well, we don't know. Have you got any... <laughs> Any pictures or anything that you can show me? As a matter of fact, she, uh, Sylvie asked me to take a picture of her and Sylvie? Show you. She's, she's, what, what nationality is Sylvie? She's, she's from France. Oh no, from France. Is oh. she? Oh my god! Red hair? And with a cigarette? She's no, Mike, you can't bring a girl that smokes. The whole house will be but stinking of cigarette. But it's always the same with you, yeah? You are always finding reasons why I should not find happiness. Plus French. Oh, she's going to start cooking escargot and uh, uh, all that strange thing. No, no, Mike. Find somebody else. It, it was so nice of you to invite me to your home, <laughs> Mike. Welcome. This is the place I live. I'm I, uh... My mother is upstairs, uh, getting dressed. Oh, your mother! Oh, that sounds interesting. So it's just you and your mother living in this big house. Yeah! You must have a lot of money, eh? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, uh, well, we are okay, we are alright. But that's not important, yeah? We, we, we love each other, yeah? I mean... Huh? I love you, Mike. I love you so much. Uh, I have left all my fa family back in Russia. <laughs> you know that. And I am willing to to live here with you. And, and with your mother too. By the way, can I say hello to your mother? Who's that Russian girl downstairs? That's, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> she has a big family. Uh, two brothers, a sister and mother and father. Uh, and we have a thing going on. Yeah. A thing? What do you call a thing? What is this thing? A thing? We are madly in love. I, I love her, how she looks like, and she loves my teeth. Huh? I don't like the look of her. I just, I was looking, I was looking from upstairs, and I, 
she ha she has a very strange accent. Yeah, of I course, she comes from Russia. What, what do you think? Accept her. I, I done. I I, I done my all my previous girlfriends for you. Yeah. No, Mike. You deserve better than that. Please don't do this to your mother. Please. <laughs> My dad is waiting outside with the uh, Cadillac and the uh, <laughs> Porsche. So um, he um, just was like wondering if um, if he could come over and uh, you know meet, meet the both of us, meet meet your mom and and just make our relationship a little bit more formal. Yeah, I think it's better that you don't see my father. What? We've been going out for three months now. Yes. Mike, my dad is really, you know, my, my dad is a very important yeah, businessman and he doesn't have the time. He's just come over to say hello to your mom and and just approve of our relationship. What? Why should your father approve of our relationship, Cindy? Why? Well, because we are a very wealthy family and look, he wants look, to no, know, no. he wants to make sure that I'm in a good hands, you know? I'm 35 years old, yeah? I know what I do and I can make decisions for my own. I always in my life make decisions for my own and I expect from my future, future wife, that she would be able to cope with that too, yeah? So go to your father and say that you make the decisions, yeah? And not him. Mike, my dad, with all his influences, he has been investigating about you and he has found out that you had other girlfriends that as soon as they met your mom, the relationship was finished. So my dad, is quite an important person. He's not going to be wasting his time. He wants to know if your mom approves. Okay, so I'm going to go out. Yeah, I'm going to tell my dad to come here and you bring your mom. Okay, make sure you do that or you will never see me again. Hi, Natalie. It's me, Frank. Frank! Frank from school! My sweetheart from school! <laughs> Hi, Frank! Surprised oh. to see you! How are you doing? I'm fine. I've just been on my own for several years. Really? Uh, yeah, my my husband left me. My, my wife, she passed away last year. I'm sorry to hear that too. Yeah, it was a difficult time. And, but yeah, I'm coping well now with, uh, with thanks for seeing me. Wow! Frank, this is a, a nice opportunity to to meet up and uh, perhaps... Natalie, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you remember this swimming pool when we, when we were in the sixth grade? Yes. Or we uh, kissed there for the first time? <laughs> we were just two full young people. <laughs> you could go for a meal, go on a date together. Are you single? I'm single. Why not? This, this, yeah. uh, well, that, that would be so nice. And yes. then, and then uh, my Mike and your uh, Cindy could also go go out together. Yes. Any any problems? Are you sure about that, Anthony? Because when we broke up in high school, a few months later, you left school. So you were pregnant. Natalie, I have to know. Is Mike my son? Because obviously, he can't date. I didn't want to say this because you got married, because I didn't want to spoil your marriage. I didn't want to be the type of woman that says, hey, yeah, you know, yes. you have to avoid me because I've got a son, blah, blah, blah. And I also met another man who actually thought he was. And so you thought that I did not have the right to, to know that I had the son? No, no. Because I, oh. I, I met another man who, who took responsibility of, of my Oh, life. yes. And I did I, and I did not. But, but, you know, Natalie, I'm also to blame because I always suspected it. But I never was brave enough to face you and ask it directly to you. So, no. I'm, but I'm happy. It's, it's, I've got the sun. I have the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, he can't. He can't date your daughter. No. Uh, I think we. Yeah. Need to, I think we need to tell them the truth, Frank. So, Mom, what do you think from Cindy? 
I don't, I don't like her as your girlfriend. I like her as, I, I like her as is, my daughter. Is that your new strategy? Yeah. <laughs> you never like any of the girls I brought home. No, yeah? no. And now you say, oh, I like her as Cindy, but not as your girlfriend. My God, mom. <laughs> Bye. I'm sorry. What? I, I have to confess something. What? You know, you know, your dad let, left me many years ago. You know that. He left us. Yes, I know. Ago. And you know, ever since then, I've been working very hard. I know all of that, mother, and I'm trying to support you with my wages a little bit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you, did you ever know what the reason was that he left? No. I told him. I told him that he was not your father. My... He was not your father. I made a big mistake, yes, because I was a pregnant woman on my own and I did not want to... Your father, your real father. Who's my real father? Who? Mother? Let me tell you, your real father had already met somebody else. He was already in a different marriage. I didn't want to spoil his marriage, but I... It's my fault. I didn't. I didn't tell him that you, you were his father. Father, who is my father? It's Cindy's father. No. Yes. We we were sweethearts in school. We. It just happened one day. We were. We went out swimming, and and that's that's how it happened. I'm sorry. He can't date anymore. I love you. I love you too, but you're, you're my sister. Okay, maybe we can be nice brother and sister friends. Yeah. Give us a hug.